Moving on now to a violent weekend all across the DMV. This includes several deadly shootings and even a fatal stabbing. Fox 5's Aisha Khan is live from D.C. Police Headquarters. Good evening, Aisha. What's the latest with these investigations? Hey there, uh, Sierra. You know, just hours ago, another double shooting on uh, Wilmington Place in Southeast. D.C. police saying there are two adult male victims. One is conscious and breathing. The other is unconscious and not breathing. Now, I'll have to work my way backwards, sadly, Sierra, because there were just too many stabbings, deadly stabbings uh, and shootings all across the DMV over the weekend. Now, we start with Friday morning. D.C. police say a 33-year-old man who was on the sidewalk in the night 1900 block of 13th and U Street Northwest was shot dead. No suspect yet in that case. Then Saturday morning, a second outbreak of gunfire at 12th and U Street, right in front of the U Street Metro station near Ben's Chili Bowl. Officers found a man dead at the scene around 5.05 a.m. Then Saturday evening, a shooting left one woman and two men dead and two other men injured in Southeast D.C. Police say the shots rang out in the six 1600 block of Good Hope Road near the intersection of 16th Street. Police said it's possible that more people were injured. The motive in that shooting has not yet been determined. Now, overnight Saturday, we're going to show a map here. A shooting in the district left two men dead and another man severely injured. That happened in an Adams Morgan neighborhood in the 2500 block of Ontario Road Northwest. Over in Northern Virginia, a 33 year old man was stabbed to death at a Prince William County home on Saturday night. This happened just before 1030 as officers responded to a home in the 800 block of Fulton Road in Woodbridge. Police arrested a 24-year-old man in that case. Uh, over in Prince George's County, a 17-year-old boy is in critical condition at an area hospital after he was shot Saturday by a retired police officer in Glendale over a stolen car. The teen is now facing gun charges. Meanwhile, though, acting D DC Police Chief Pamela Smith saying the violence that took hold of the district over the weekend is unacceptable. Let me be clear. This gun violence has to stop. Go back to VO. Um, all right. Meantime, though, the uh, the Ward 1 council member, Brianne, uh, uh, Brianne Nadu, um, she also re released a statement Saturday afternoon addressing the recent violence. She says, quote, the string of shootings over the last two weeks, including the ones in Adams Morgan and U Street, is upsetting and devastating to our community. Uh, I spoke with Acting Police Chief Pamela Smith and asked her to direct additional resources to hot spots in the ward. I also spoke with 3rd District Commander James Butler, who has been managing the response in the area and directing resources. Sierra, meantime, the shootings, you know, these shootings, sadly, are the latest in a wave of violence in the district this month. Already, uh, at least a dozen people have been shot in the first five days of August. And believe it or not, the, uh, the city has now recorded more than 150 homicides so far this year. Sierra.